It happened about three o'clock last night. I heard a commotion out here. So I, I came outside to find two Sasquatch. Now I had a shotgun with me. I was prepared because I've had, there's a lot of Sasquatch activity in this area. So I come back here and it's a, a female Sasquatch and I noticed her right away. I noticed her as the Sasquatch that raped me. And she had a smaller Sasquatch with her. And it was clear that from what she was, she was pointing at the kid and pointing at me that she was trying to say that that was my baby. And I flat out, I said, no fucking way is that my fucking baby. And I pointed the shotgun at her. She was standing right there. You can see a footprint. There's one of her footprints. You can see that outline. And I said, get the fuck out of here and take the fucking brat with you. You know? And what, what else am I going to do? I don't, I, I don't want the kid. I don't, I don't want responsibility for the ki this kid. And I don't know why she's coming here and telling me this anyway. Go back to the woods where you came from, Sasquatch. So I have a shotgun and I'm walking up to her. And as I walk up to her, she smacks this, the, the uh, shotgun out of my hand. And so then I'm like, what the fuck? And I have a piece and I have an ankle piece that, that I have. I have a 22 with me and I can't get to it because I know that if I reach down, she's, she's going to, you know, she's going to go for it. So I'm starting to back up. I'm trying to create some distance. And as I'm backing up, I trip over this tire here. So, so I'm trying to get distance and I'm backing up like this. And then I hit this and then I fall down. So I'm on the ground like this and I pull my piece out and I point it right at her eye. I'm pointing it right at her eye and I'm like back off Sasquatch and she, st she still keeps coming. So I fired off one shot, <laughs> hit her right in the eye. So the, the female Sasquatch goes like this and starts backing up like this. At that time, the little Sasquatch that's four, about, you know, four feet tall, something like that, shorter than me, it can't be that old, starts coming at me like it wants to protect its mom. So, so I, I pull my gun out again and I fire in the air this time. So at that time, after the second shot, the female Sasquatch and the cub both take off. They both take off. The, the female Sasquatch is like running away with her hand up on her eyeball like this. And the little Sasquatch is terrified. Good. Don't come back. Now, I'm sort of worried that they will come back. And I'll tell you why I'm worried is because of something that I read in the late 70s in a Playboy magazine. And that's that many times women that females that don't have an eye, they have a glass eye. The story was that the woman took the glass eye out of her eye socket and then was like, you know, giving a guy a knobber with her eye. That's the story that I read. And after dealing with the Sasquatch back there, the female Sasquatch, you know, in the, in the dry creek bed, I'm afraid that she's gonna try something like that. And my greatest fear is like something like that happens and then I can only get off by, you know, getting some eye. That would be horrible. It's like if, 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 you fell, if you fell in love with a woman that didn't have arms and legs, and then you, you know, you might just only be able to have sex with a woman that doesn't have arms and legs. You see the problem? I don't want her coming back. I don't want her coming back and I don't want to get eye from a Sasquatch. That's for sure.